Hello, some people have asked me how I do foreign language lip syncing in X Lights. So I'm going to show you the way I do it for just the few songs that I need to translate. And I'm by no means saying that this is the best solution. It's just something that works for me for just a few songs. So I've got a Portuguese song here. So first I'm just going to rename my timing track. And I've already got the lyrics here. And the first thing I, I would do is change anything that has accents. So remove the accents from any of the characters. And then we can just copy that here. And then what we can do is just import the lyrics. And you set the start time when the lyrics actually start. In this case, they do start at the beginning of the song. So I have nothing to change. Now, the next step would be to position all of the sentences of the songs into the correct position. In fact, here is a, is a demo of what happens if you don't remove all the accents. You can see here, I've got a little question mark here. And if I double click, you can see it did have an accent there. So I will remove that. And then you would position all these in place. I'm not going to do that. I'll just do the beginning of the song, just these two here. So we've got... Uh, nossa, nossa. So you can see this waveform is the Nossa. So I'll just get roughly in place. You would take more time at this. And then if I zoom in, you can see that's... Not too bad there. Nossa. Okay. And you would go through all of this. The next step would be to then to break it down into individual words. So a breakdown phrases. And if you come along here, you can see it's brought this sentence down into the multiple words. But now you would position these words to match the individual words. So you can see here we've got... I I mean, we're way along there, but uh, you would then position the words to match the appropriate position. I'm not going to go to the trouble of that. So the next step now you would be, once you've got all the words in position, you would now in extract the mouth movement phonemes. Now, there is a dictionary in here that you can add words, so you could add or cheese words and if you if you knew the acronyms of the phonemes you could do that and that's something you would do if you're translating a lot of songs in that particular language but i'm not going to do that because it's just i've only you know i've done one portuguese song before i'm just doing one more so first thing i'm going to do is try and see what happens when i extract the phonemes so if i go here break down words you can see no output here. It has succeeded in some places. You can see it's got some things okay. So, but it just misses some. The reason is it's basing this output on English phonemes. So you might also find in some cases some of these phonemes are not exact, but I've not found that to be a problem. Uh, so this these words here would work absolutely fine. But we're stuck now with what do we do with this because how do I know what the phonemes are? So for this, I use a tool called Papageo. Okay. This again. Now, to use Papageo, you must open a WAV file. It doesn't have to be anything. You're not going to be using it, but just record a just shorter WAV file. I've just done one here that I just Bom recorded dia. in Portuguese, which is just Bom saying dia. Bom dia. Okay, and, and I could actually then type that word in if I wanted and click breakdown. And you could have a full sentence in here if you want. And then if you really wanted, you could uh, then reposition this into. Yeah, yeah, the appropriate. Yeah. Place. And then if I was to 
if I was to get this right. You can go like this. Bundy, uh, Bundy, uh, Bundy, Bundy, and you, you don't need to do this, but you know, and then obviously you'd play and the, Bundy, the, the mouth would move appropriately. I didn't position these right, but we're not concerned about that. So it, it's just, I'm just showing you the program, but you can actually get different mouth movements as well. You can actually this, use this tool to extract images. So all of these images for an, a full set, sentence, if you wanted to put these on a mega tree as well. But we're not going to do that. We're just at this stage, just going to sort out these two Nossa areas of the song. So I need to know the phonemes for this Nossa. Okay, and I'm getting this because I've not chosen the correct language, so it doesn't recognize the word Nossa because it's based on English. So if I now choose Portuguese, right now, and you can see it's given me the phonemes L O E T C A I. So if I move this out of the way now, and if I just pick a phoneme from elsewhere, just cut that or copy that, and then I know that this. Look at Papageo again. He's got one, two, three, four phonemes for this word. So I'll paste that in place. Sorry, place. I'll just put four in. And we can see it's L O E T C A I. So I'll just go L O E T C. And AI is already correct. And then I will position this. I mean, L is obviously the the N position of the lips. So like you're pursing your lips to a certain degree. And we've got the O. So we can see if this is like no. no. And then we've got the ETC, which is the start of the S. So we can move this along. You don't have to go quite as accurate as this, but it's entirely up to you. And we've got no, sir. And I've got the same word twice here, so I can turn the lyrics off and then just copy this and then come back on again and I can paste it into position. Okay, and you could move these around again. And then I've got the phonemes ready, so now I'll get singing face just to test that so i'll just drop a singing face here onto uh, a singing bulb here and we can see here if i now play no, sir. oops wait a minute it's got to i've got to choose the correct timing track i apologize upright bulb timing track lyrics and then no, sir. No, sir. I see. yeah so you get that no, sir. No, sir. I see. And that's it in a nutshell, okay? It does take a, a bit of time. And like I say, you do have the option of using user dictionary as well. So hope I hope you found this useful.